<laughs> this is uh, not what I expected this video diary would look like at all. I really thought this would look something more like a, an episode of, you guys ever watch Intervention? You know, it, it, Intervention, it's always the same story. It opens up on the addict and their life is terrible and they've alienated their families and you hear the backstory about how they were once young and beautiful and then they went to the road of ruin because of, you know, the drugs. And then, uh, you know, they have an intervention. The family bullies them into going to treatment. Cue the acoustic music, acoustic guitar music, and then a little words come up. Six months later, and you see that same addict. Now they've gained weight. They, their skin's clear. They're happy. Acoustic music still playing in the background. And they're like, oh, Jody, uh, she finally worked it out. You know, thanks to the people at this treatment center in Hollywood or whatever. Well, I kind of thought this video would be me, you know, some acoustic music, sure. But me quitting marijuana and you see my struggles and I, you know, I, I share my experience. But instead, it's just been one long <laughs> me admitting to my relapse in a public, an embarrassing public way. So... What is it? Tuesday morning, 3.53. I waked and baked again. Because yesterday I only smoked a little bit in the morning. I mean, for you know, a 30-year habit. And I went to sleep and whatever, but then I woke up really early and thought I'd come here and let you guys know. I went in and made some coffee. Came here, turned on some YouTube videos. Uh, and then smoked some pot, pulled out the guitar, and now I'm high and uh, caffeinated, nicotined. <laughs> um, I'm not, I mean, I can't say I'm proud of myself, <laughs> but I had to admit yesterday I wasn't really ashamed of myself either. You know, I'll be honest with you guys. This is the nature of the relapse. You kind of just give in to your addiction. Okay, fine. Whatever. Go back to rationalizing why it's okay that you do this. <laughs> anyway, I want to say thank you to everyone who's been so supportive. Uh, and also supportive in my relapse in a weird way. Nobody's been all judgy and like, listen, you must give it up. Try it again. You can do it. People have been like, yeah, you know what? It's all about moderation. You know, it's probably good. You took a uh, tolerance break and you need to respect that weed. It's powerful. You can't be smoking it all day, every day and think it's not going to rot your brain. <laughs> but as for this morning, this beautiful Tuesday morning, the update on quitting weed is I'm still haven't quit. Um, my plan is to not smoke anymore today. And I, I don't foresee that being even an issue. And I also have the, uh, <laughs> you know, I might change my mind on that. I don't know. Anyway, thank you so much for uh, tuning in to Quitting Weed, number seven. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh, you know what, though? Maybe I'll talk about this later. <laughs> the plan before I got high was to talk about the connection between grief and and addiction and I was going to share my stories of the people I've lost in grief and I thought I would come out here and but because I got high I forgot I was going to do that anyway thanks for watching and I will see you again Kiga Wabamin Minowa
Oh wow. <laughs> All right. I can feel it coming in the air tonight, oh Lord. And I've been waiting for this moment for all my life, oh Lord. Can you feel it coming in the air tonight, oh Lord, oh Lord. Well, if you told me were drowning, I would not lend a hand. I've seen your face before, my friend, and I don't know if you know who I am. And I was there and I saw what you did. I saw it with my own two eyes. You can wipe off that grin. I know where you've been. It's all been a pack of lies. I can feel it coming in the air tonight, oh Lord. And I've been fighting for this moment for all my life, oh Lord. Can you feel it coming in the air tonight, oh Lord, oh Lord. And I remember. I remember, don't worry, how could I ever forget? It's the first time, the last time we ever met. But I know the reason why you keep the silence up. No, you can't fool me, but the hurt doesn't show. And the pain still grows, stranger to you and me. And I can feel it coming in the air. I've been waiting for this moment for all my life, oh Lord, can you feel it coming in the air tonight, oh Lord, oh Lord. I can feel it. Mina, o que que é gente, paquera? Não. Hey, everybody. Good morning. I'm just gonna, just making some makere mashkiki wabu. Up, it's just about ready. Black medicine water, makere mashki ki wabu. <laughs> so this is our house. Give me a little walk around. Here are some cartoons from the rock star cartoonist Michael Lyons. This comes from the book Little Cutie. Little Cutie, a teddy bear's vision quest. You got Migazy. Eagle by Michael Lyons. And then um, this is the living room. This is David Bowie. He's saying, stop. Look what I'm offering you. Your dreams. I ask for so little. Just fear me, love me, do as I ask, and I shall be your slave. 